Fire and Rescue Department units respond to hazardous material emergencies and gas leaks every day. Each engine and truck company has a complement of atmospheric monitoring devices which they can use to help mitigate these events. The following information is used to better prepare firefighters to be able to effectively combat a hazmat event or gas leak and give them the knowledge to know when to request the department's hazardous materials team. Each engine and truck company in Fairfax County carries three atmospheric monitoring meters, the ITX multi-gas monitor, the gas track, and the Canberra Ultra Mini Radic. Each meter serves a specific purpose and will be defined to help better prepare firefighters in their use. The ITX is designed to monitor four gases simultaneously. The four gases are the LEL of methane or other flammable gases, carbon monoxide, hydrogen sulfide, and oxygen. It provides a digital, direct readout in real time and tells the user the amount of gas detected. Additionally, it is intrinsically safe and has LED backlighting for use in any environment and its rugged design maximizes durability. Three AA batteries provides for 24 hours of runtime. While air monitoring, the user must look at the meter's digital display to monitor the percentage of gas in air. The meter will go into alarm whenever the percentage of gas in air exceeds the safe level, which is called the action level. An action level means that firefighters must change the environment, evacuate or isolate, or call for additional hazmat resources. This table shows the respective action levels that firefighters must use in determining their strategies and tactics for mitigating a gas leak. It is called the TENS rule as a memory jogger. The gas track is nothing more than a leak finder. It is not a meter and should only be used after determining, with the ITX multi-gas monitor, that a leak is present somewhere within a structure. It can detect any flammable gas emitting from a leaking source, such as a gas line, gas appliance, or leaking cylinder. Although it has four indicator lights on its side, these are irrelevant for basic use. To use the gas track, set the tick rate and slowly move the sensor across the line, appliance, or cylinder in question and listen for an increase in tick rate. With this increase in rate, the user will be able to determine where the source of the leak is present. This affords the crew the ability to isolate the individual source rather than the entire structure. While using the gas track, it must be used in conjunction with the ITX multi-gas monitor to ensure that the environment remains safe to operate within. The Canberra Ultra Mini Radic Monitor is a gamma radiation detector. Gamma radiation is the most dangerous form of radiation and personnel can only be protected through time, distance, and shielding. When fire and rescue department units respond to any event involving radiation or an event involving an explosion, the unit officer must bring with them and monitor for radiation using this device. The Canberra Ultra Mini Radic must be cleared every morning at shift change in order to ensure that if it's actually needed, it can accurately determine the absorbed dose of the crew. To clear the device's memory, press and hold clear and dose at the same time. A 10 milli Rankin and greater action level requires the help of the department's hazmat team. The user must be aware of the level of reading, micro Rankin, milli Rankin, and Rankin. This information is just as important as the specific number and must be communicated to the responding hazmat team. On the first day of each tour, the ITX multi-gas monitor should be bump tested using the department's issued bump gas. This means that it should be bump tested and sent into alarm. The user is looking to see numerical movement on each of the four monitored fields. When bumping meters before use on an emergency event, the user just wants to see a numerical increase. Do not send the meter into alarm. Seeing an increased rate will show the user that the meter is working properly but will save the meter's sensors over time. Aside from saving the sensors, the main reason to soft bump the meter before use is because once a sensor fails on the device, there is no way of warning the user that it has indeed failed. All values will show zero on the device. This could potentially put members inside a dangerous environment without their knowledge.